Hey you guys, this is Raphael from ShilohRelics.com. Greetings from Tennessee. Everybody here is well, we hope you are too. Uh, today is a beautiful day outside. And I'm gonna share some things with you today that have lost a little favor in the past uh, probably 15, 20 years. And I think it's because people just don't realize how neat they are and they don't collect them like they used to. They look fairly simple, plain Jane, but they're not. What these are, it is a artillery, naval artillery fuse uh, box or pouch. And what it did, it had a belt loop on the back. It went around on a belt for a naval sailor that was uh, firing artillery shells. These actually have just one outer flap, has a brass finial on the bottom to keep the lid closed, but it opened up and you put packs of fuses inside and that's what they would carry them in. And there are five in each pack, so you had five fuses to fire shells with so they wouldn't have to go back and forth and get more. What were the fuses? <laughs> Thanks to my buddy Gene Ingram that gave me this one. I'm gonna use it a lot and I'll thank you every time because I appreciate you, my friend. A paper fuse is basically a wick. It loads into the shell very simply like that. It goes into the fuse hole. The cannon blast behind the shell from here the flame goes up and it ignites the top of the fuse and it burns down. Different fuses burn different amount of time. This pack is a 20 second, which is a long burn time because you can imagine how far a cannon shell can fly in 20 seconds. So you put that in there it, and that way you know when it's supposed to explode. Artillery was an art form. I put on an artillery manual yesterday and it goes into all this algebra and all of this uh, uh, technical stuff on the timing that it would blow up, the directions. It was an art form if you were really talented at it. So, two of these packs in one of these boxes. The boxes look all the same from this distance, don't they? They're not. And some of them will just be plain leather, unmarked, very simple things. But evidently they got poor uh, quality ones because they started marking them from the naval yard that they, were, uh, that they went to. One of the most common ones that you see will end up being the Boston Navy Yard like this one. It'll have a marking like this. You can't really see it here, but check this out. It'll uh, be marked Boston Navy Yard, and that's one you encounter fairly often. The other ones that you see will be from the New York Navy Yard and the Philadelphia Navy Yard, like this for New York and like this from Philadelphia. They'll also have the dates. So you get the plain one, you get the Boston Navy Yard one, you get the New York one, but you also have to have, if you're gonna have, be the Johnny Overkill of collecting like so many of us are, you want the 1862 dated one, you want the 1863 dated one, then you go to the Philadelphia one. And if you're gonna have the others, you might as well have the 62 dated Philadelphia, the 63 dated Philadelphia. And it's, it's a neat thing to collect. And some of them, there's one that you don't see as often, and I don't think I've got one now, but it's uh, Portsmouth Navy Yard. And it's very simply just a plain Jane stamp. Uh, you, you don't see that one as often. The New York and Philadelphia are a little bit flashier like this. And they're a great thing to collect because you have that variation in them. They used to bring boxes like this, used to bring several hundred dollars. And, and I, I remember one time I was in Charleston and was able to buy a collection. This, this must have been 20 years ago. I was able to buy a, a huge collection of them for, I think, $200 a piece. And at the time, they were bringing $450. And I was like, yay! Now you can buy these in that under $250 range, which is, that's a lot of history. And they're neat because they are Navy. They're artillery. You don't see them as often. 
because you got to remember these things are on board ship. So a lot of them show up in a well-worn condition like you see some of these here. They're a great thing to collect, something a little different, something that you might be able to slip up on a show because sometimes uh, people just don't know what they are. So like I always tell you, little knowledge can make a lot of green in your pocket. I hope that you guys are doing well. I'm so thankful that I get to share these with you. Um, I appreciate you guys. Y'all have, have saved me a lot. And I appreciate you taking time to share these. I've had so much positive feedback about the videos and about the messages at the end. Uh, a friend of mine from Texas called me this morning and he uh, heard the one the other day uh, about my call out of the blue that, that helped me from the lady in North Carolina. And he said, I played that for my daughter. And some, I don't know why I played that for my daughter and said, when she got done, she was in tears. And she said, daddy, I needed to hear that. And please tell your friend that I'm thankful because he has helped me. And if we can help somebody every day, there's nothing more you can hope for in life. Because at the end of the day, everybody needs a little more help. Everybody can use a lot more kindness. And it's free. You can be, you can be kind and it's free. It's one of the few cool things in the world that's absolutely free. You don't have to, to do anything. So I just want you to know I appreciate you. I'm thankful if I can make your life, whether it's collecting or your life just anyway, a little bit better. I feel like I'm a success, and I want to thank you guys for that. Please share these. Go on to YouTube, sign up as a subscriber. I hadn't mentioned it in a while, but I've got the sword that I'm going to give away when we get 1,000 subscribers. It's going to go randomly to someone that is, is subscribed, uh, that first 1,000 subscribers. And it's a cool one. I'm going to do a little segment on it here one of these days. I hope you guys are well. Remember to hug the ones that you love. Be sure you tell them that you love them because the last words you hear out of my mouth are I love you. I'm all right with that. I'll catch you next time and I love you.